Remember that memory you have, those fleeting images, the sounds, the smells, the emotion of the past. It can all come flooding back, as if it happened yesterday. Now even the sweet release of death won't stop our memories. Now our very souls can be uploaded to the cloud. Upon our death our memories can live on digitally, forever. But what happens when it goes all wrong? Those servers buckle and break. The data that seems so safe corrupts. A single person's memories have broken the system. Of course you're sent in to fix it all, as if it would be that easy. Being transported into the darkest recesses of a broken mind, slowly picking up the remnants of memories and piecing them back together. You could call Master Reboot a psychological horror adventure game, but no, that seems too simple, too clean a description. It's true that each level is a different memory that you've got to go into and fix, and you progress by solving puzzles. But the whole experience can be so unsettling. Even the happiest of memories hold some sorrow within, because you always know, around the corner, something's out to get you. But you carry on regardless of fear, because you want to know more. You want to know more of the person whose memories you've entered. Scraps of their story are left behind for you to find in these broken thoughts. Master Reboot is a hauntingly beautiful game about memories, what they mean to us, how they can distort and change over time, how what we perceive to be the truth can corrupt and falter as much as a computer would. And it's available now on the PC, and I say play it, because there's nothing else out there really like it. Or if it's too scary, get someone you know to play it, and then just watch them play it as you cower in the background in fear, because it can be a bit scary. But it's worth playing, even if you do get scared. Well, I guess that's half the point. So the man standing in front of you is Edward Kenway. I have customized his outfit so that he's wearing all black, so that he looks as much as possible like the Dread Pirate Roberts from The Princess Bride. Since that's basically all I want this game to be, is a Dread Pirate Roberts simulator, and it's actually very good at that.